Hey, what is up guys? New Tech Begins here. And in this video, we're gonna go ahead and install a dark team in Proxmox. So by default, as always, with a light team, um, and that can hurt the eyes. So what we wanna do is to go ahead and install a dark team. As you can see here, Proxmox is all in, um, in white and um, I always recommend a dark team every application should have the option to offer the dark team Proxmox has not but that's no problem we're gonna go ahead and uh, and search for a solution for that so we open up our browser go to DuckDuckGo duckduckgo.com and we're gonna go ahead you see duckduckgo.com is has a dark team already we're gonna go ahead and um, search for a dark theme for proxmox as you can see here the first result will be shakes 80 from the 80s proxmox dark theme that's the one you need to click. That will give an explanation. Here, as you can see, it's from the Discord doc. And um, it will give uh, installation is done via the CLI utility, the command line utility. F run the following commands on the Proxmox virtual environment node serving the web UI. All right, let's do it. So we're going to go ahead and open up the, um, the Proxmox here. Go to your Proxmox name or VE. Then you click on Shell. As you can see here, we're already logged in as a root. And here we copy and paste the first command, which was this one here. And just press Enter. That's one. Now the second command will be this one here. Bash PVE Discord Dark SH. Copy, paste it in here. Enter. Oh yeah, it's applying the changes to the template file. That's nice. Theme installed. All right, so see if we have to do more. We could do it also by this one liner where we did two lines. So we should be good to go. We're gonna go ahead and reboot our server to let the changes take effect. Just click on the reboot button. Reboot, yes. Wait a few seconds. All right, so I've waited for a few seconds, almost one or two minutes. Now we're gonna go ahead and re-log in back to our Proxmox server. See if we can log in already. Ah, there it is, and there we have our dark theme, uh, which is really nice. Looks already fantastic. As you can see here, we just installed the dark team for Proxmox Virtual Environment 7.2-3. And that was basically it. And that concludes this video for today. I hope it was helpful for you. If it was, hit that like button and consider to subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Thank you for watching and adios.